What is going on guys? Quality XA here today bringing you guys a brand new video on Destiny 2. Today we're actually going to be bringing you guys the weekly Zer reset. So he's actually located in the tower this week inside of the hangar of course. So let's see what he's got for us this week. So first up we've actually got the Surus Regime, one of the best auto rifles in my honest opinion. Really really fun to use in any situation. So for this you get Surus Legacy. The bottom half of each magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health on kill. You've also got Hammer Forge Rifling, Tactical Mag, Spinning Up or Dual Speed Receiver and Hand Laid Stock. Moving on you've also got the ACD Feedback Fence for the Titan, you've got Fury Conductors, Melee Kills build energy, being struck by a melee attack reduces incoming damage and unleashes the energy in a devastating explosion. You've also got Plastic Reinforcement and Restorative Mod. You've got Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader and Impact Induction. You've also got Sniper Rifle Scavenger and Machine Gun Scavenger, so pretty decent. Moving on, we've got the Crown of Tempest for the Warlock. So for this, you get Conduction Tines. So Arc Ability Kills increase the recharge rate of your Arc Abilities and extend the duration of Storm Trance. You've also got Mobility Enhancement and Restorative Mod as well as that Fusion Rifle Targeting, Hand Cannon Targeting and Hands On. You've also got sp Sniper Rifle Reserves and Machine Gun Reserves. And then last but not least, we've got the Ophidia Sapes for the Hunter. So for this, you actually get Scissor Fingers, grants two knives per charge, Plasty Reinforcement and Restorative Mod, Unflinching Bow Aim, Unflinching Fusion Rifle Aim and Unflinching Kinetic Aim. You've also got Scout Rifle Reserves and Special Ammo Finder. So I'd recommend picking up the Surus Regime if you guys do not have it. The ACD Feedback Fence is also pretty decent as well. Now before we do actually go guys, I did want to say that you can actually go into the new raid now. I thought I'd explore. I don't have too many of my friends online at this current time, but we are looking at attempting it very soon. I'm currently not the highest of light level, so very, very hard to damage all of these enemies. But if you guys did want to uh, go out and check this out, all you guys do have to do is go onto the European Dead Zone and you guys will pretty much have a brand new icon. I'll just go and show you that quickly now. But yes, guys, that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be much appreciated. Let me know if you're excited for the raid and do you have a team to tackle it tonight. But as always, peace out and I hope you enjoyed.